What's going on here this morning? Uh, it's been a takeover. They reckon they can do a better job than us. Oh, well, let them get on with it then. means there's a coup going on at home. Um, we've decamped to the temporary uh, Legs Down studio which is the palatial surroundings of McDonald's on Newmarket Road. Um, the truth is that uh, we should have gone out last night and got some milk and bread and forgot so here we are. Mm. Well, I really enjoyed that and I hope you really enjoyed part two of our little look around Cambridge um, and finally get to go to a pub as well. Enjoy. Right we're still on the backs and I just want to show this absolutely fantastic view. We're at the back of Trinity College or more accurately Trinity New Court just now. It really is beautiful. And that there is St John's College. Quite high maintenance these old colleges so you'll often see bits of scaffolding up here and there. Okay, anyone who has ever been on a Twitter camp with us, or the ones that come with us to Cambridge, remember this down here. This is where the Twitter camp gang sank the boat nearly. Ian from Caravan Gossip actually filmed it from this spot, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Well, this is Trinity Lane. Uh, anyone who watches Grantchester, um, for some reason they always use this. I think it's an area of Cambridge they can block off. So it's always like a back street of Cambridge that they can use. So you will have seen, I think, this street many a time on Grantchester. Okay, this is Trinity College, and this is the famous quad. It's basically where the word quad comes from, I think. Um, but anyway, the Chariots of Fire race is held here annually and where it all started off, you know. Um... Right, so this is Trinity Street, and as we swing round, we come to the wonderful entrance called Trinity Great Gate. And through the entrance is the quad that we saw a few moments ago. And next door to Trinity, you'll find St John's College. That's the entrance there. And uh, they're charging an eye watering 10 quid to get in these days, but uh, if you are a Cambridge resident, you get in for free. St John Street here and um, Bruce Street will find Cambridge's little round church, apparently one of the smallest in the country. And if we just spin round, that's uh, St John's Chapel over there. Okay, we're outside, uh, outside of Maudlin College here, this is Maudlin Bridge. Um, while I'm here, there used to be a lovely willow tree just here. And Maudlin College was the only college in the whole of Cambridge that did anything Christmassy. They put lights on it at Christmas. It was always one of the biggest things that Cambridge residents moaned about, that the college didn't do anything for Christmas. The university always argued that the students weren't here, so it didn't matter. I, I think it does matter, and I think Cambridge University should have done something about it a long, long while ago. If you notice today, they still don't do nothing for Christmas. Okay, we're still on Maudlin Bridge and we've just swung round and that building that Richard is now looking at it's, uh, what is it, Cambridge Wine Merchants now but above it was Jonathan King's room when he was a student here. Uh, when he was 18 he wrote his first hit Everyone's Gone to the Moon, I would believe it was called. Someone will tell me. Right, the Pickerel Inn is apparently Cambridge's oldest pub. Um, we're just about to go and have something to eat, so see you in a bit. Okay, Rich, well, that was a good morning, do you think? Mm. Cracking morning walking around, and even though it is our uh, hometown, it's looking absolutely beautiful in the winter, winter sunshine. Um, ready for this, so, and looking forward to a bit of lunch, and then we'll go and do a bit more. Well, that's that. Um, I not yet it before I had a chance to film it, but uh, anyway, we both had sausage and mash, and it's uh, half price during the day, six and a half quid. That was all right, wasn't it, Trev? Absolutely excellent. When I used to come in this pub way back, we used to have meetings with W. H. Smith that used to be just across the road. The only thing it sold was cheese and pickle sandwiches and pork pies and scotch eggs or something. No pickle eggs, that was mm. it. Right, so fed and watered and we moved just across the road and we're just having a quick look at Maudlin College. 
or as the Americans and some visitors would call it, Magdalen College. Definitely Magdalen. Okay, we're now standing really, we've just come along from the pub. This is possibly Cambridge as it originally was. These houses were here before the university. Uh, so it's quite old. Obviously the reason we talk with some sort of Cockney accent is when the university moved here, there was uh, not many people that lived here. So of course they shipped them up from the East End to work in the colleges to make the beds for the students and etc. So of course we've always been known as Cambridge Cockneys. Alright, the road you see opposite is Carlisle Road and it's of little tourist interest but it was from that building that I took my driving test and uh, Last first time I might add, uh, somehow. Okay, we're now looking down river. Uh, this bit's now coming out of the town, just by Jesus Green here. If you go just around that bend, you'll start to see some of the college boat houses. First thing in the morning, about six o'clock in the morning, the streets are full of students on their bikes, driving, riding down to the boat sheds, getting the boats out and going for practice rowing. 6 o'clock in the morning they do that. Okay. Right, we've turned town out and we're looking back towards Maudlin Bridge near where the Pickering was, where we had a nice lunch. And if you take a punt, this is as far as you can come, in this direction anyway. Yep. Okay, now we're walking through Jesus Green. Um, Jesus Green is obviously named after Jesus College. Jesus College is just here to the right. The trees are a bit thick so you won't see them. Hopefully we'll get a bit better view of them when we get further along. One thing about Cambridge is it's got lots of parks. Um, it's surrounded with parks and commons. You know, we've just seen a few of them today. It used to be known also as the city with the most trees per square mile of anywhere in the country. And I think it's still that case today. Okay, well we've just walked through Jesus Green and across the road we are now on Midsummer's Common. I just mentioned a little while ago about the boat houses uh, and there's a few of them along there where the students all go and collect their boats in the morning to do their practice runs. Midsummer Common is also home of possibly the second largest fair in the country, Midsummer Fair. Uh, it gets actually packed on here in the summer. Right, back across the road from Midsummer Common, and this is Jesus College, and unbelievably, this is just the side entrance. Yeah, Prince Edward went to this college. A lot of controversy at the time about him going to this college, because it was said he didn't have the qualifications to come to Cambridge University. Right, we're outside the St Radigand, um, which is at the start of King Street. And at one time, there were 14 pubs down King Street, and there was a game the students played called the King Street Run, which was to down a pint in every pub as quick as you could and run between pubs. Quite a challenge, and I don't think I could have managed it even in uh, my day, let alone now. Um, nothing like 14 pubs now, uh, but we, we are planning to pop up here one night and uh, perhaps have a couple of trip. Yep, yep, do a couple of the bars. Right, ahead of us now is New Square, and at one time, well, when I was a kid certainly, it used to be a car park and there was a little footbridge that ran over the middle where you see people walking now. I think it looks much better like this, don't you? Okay, this is Christ Peace uh, and that little bit where Richard just showed you the car park. Basically Christ Peace and that car park and this pathway that everyone's walking down in my day was the divide between the town and the gown. Because the, we've got a brand new shopping centre there now in the Kite area. In my day there were sort of department stores and shops that the locals used to use. The town centre in them days was mainly used by the university, so it was known as the Divide. Right, still on Christ Peace and looking back towards New Square over to the right there. A relatively recent, in Cambridge terms, addition is the Princess Diana Memorial Garden. Um, opened in 1999 I think, wasn't it Trev? 99, yeah, she died in 97, two years later the council built this. Okay, just in case you was wondering, yes, Cambridge does have shops, lots of them, and very expensive ones as well. Anyway, that's the end of the day for today. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed our little tour around Cambridge. We've only done a fraction of it, believe you and me. There's plenty more to see. Okay, I'll just come back because I did say to you Cambridge has expensive shops. Can you believe they've got this in the shopping centre? Tesla dealership. Right, brandy good? Brandy's very good. Cheers. Cheers. Right, evening all. Um, hope you enjoyed the second part of our little walk around Cambridge. That was good fun, wasn't it? Really enjoyed that. Well, yeah, I really enjoyed. No, I enjoyed the whole day round Cambridge. I didn't enjoy the second part because it weren't a second part, was it? Can we just um? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> now, what I mean is, it was really we we had a good day round yeah. Cambridge. We've just messed it up by putting it into two parts, which has really confused me, hasn't it? It's confused you, yeah. I know. Yeah. It really no one else has got a problem with it. No, well, I hope you have enjoyed that yeah. second part that also has a proper ending. Yeah. The first part didn't have a second no, proper ending. No, that's right. No. Anyway, forget all that. Yeah. What have we done today? What have we done today? Well, it's been a uh, sort of a day. It's been a. Uh, I hate to say it, but it has been a nice day. We've 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 done we've, a lot we've of done closure a lot towards towards your mum's yeah yeah sorting out your mum's things, haven't we? Do you know what I mean? I I had a bad night's sleep last night, and mm. and I'm not sure why. Um, you know, going to register her death today, and you know, I don't want to bore you with you know with, with this, but. It, 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 it was like a final thing, you know, when you go and do this sort of situation. And I must say, Adam Brooks Hospital and, and the systems that they run today make it very easy. Um, you know, we had to go and register. First of all, we, you know, spoke to, you know, get the death certificates. And then at the same time, they make an appointment for you to see the registrar, which then we went to see the registrar, and she's all very nice, and you do all the, the normal paperwork. And the one great thing about it is these days they give you this little code number. Mm. And, and, the, and the the tell me once service they call yeah, it. Yeah, it's you, just incredible. You log on with that to the to a government website. Yeah. And they can notify pretty much everybody. Anyone from, from sort of central government departments like work and pensions to yeah. to local things like council tax and that and it saves, and it, saves it a just, lot of grief. It, it really just does. really does make it easy but you know, those of you, and do you know what I mean? I'm not the only person who's lost in life. You know, you know, we all lose people, and you know, it's all very sad. But it, it's great to see the government have, have started to make things easy for people. Um, you know, after their losses, and and I must say, you know, hats off and cheers, Adam Brooks. You you made today very easy. Um, you know, and it's been great. We went on from that and we saw the person who's going to do the funeral the service, itself. Gemma, yeah. Yeah, Gemma. We went all through my mother's life. My sister come down and we sat chin wagging and going through, you know, my mother's life basically from start to finish. And, you know, although it's, a, it's quite emotional, it's quite, you know, enjoyable as well. In a, you know, I know I shouldn't say enjoyable, but it was enjoyable, you know, reminiscing yeah. about some of the Happy old days. Memories, yeah. Um, you know, she had a good life, you know, we had a good life being brought up by my mother, you know, and also my father, obviously, but, um, so it was good, you know, but we digress, we shouldn't bore you with all this, um, stuff. What's going to be happening tomorrow. in the coming days? Well, we, one more thing we want to do tomorrow, see the David, the funeral director, yep. do that first thing. Yep. And then we've got most of the rest of the day to ourselves, I think. Um, yeah, we so need, we've got a number of things we've got we in need mind. To, we need to go out and show people certain things around Cambridge that, yeah. you know, and we haven't done for ages either. No. There's the, I mean, <laughs> we're on death again, but the American Cemetery at Mattingly yeah, is a stunningly beautiful place. Yeah, and so really we're, we're going to go have a look at that at some point. Yeah. Uh, Anglesey Abbey, I haven't been to since I was a kid. I've never been there. Out near the load is not the way to yeah, the market. Like, I've been there many a time yeah. taking visitors, you know, when I was taxi yeah, driving. Taxi, yeah. um, I've never actually mm. walked around it. And everyone tells me it's really mm. stunning. So um, we'll go and do that. We'd like to go back to Ely. 
Yeah, we could definitely go back. Particularly around the sort of cathedral area and the yeah. river and stuff. So and we've got friends out there as well, so we'll meet for lunch Hopefully as well. Yeah. So that'd be Jan a good and Alan, yeah. Be good. So hopefully in the next few days, all I'm saying is, um, you know, we're going to forget, you know, the up and coming funeral and things like that. We're going to get out there and do some stuff that, you know, in our hometown that hopefully you will enjoy. Anyway, without further ado, we'll say cheers. Cheers. And see you soon. Good night. See you soon. Thank you.